Please turn off or silence all cell phones or electronic devices and rise for the moment of silence and pledge of flag. for the Human Rights Commission. Fred Cook, if you want to come up front too, please. And then we'll do the anti-smoking campaign with Dr. Avila. Bring the whole commission up. Yeah, if the whole commission wants to come up, Fred, they're more than welcome. County Exec, Human Rights Day in Orange County. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming. We are so very proud of our Human Rights Commission, and I thank all of you on behalf of County Executive Newhouse for the work that you do. And uh, it's uh, only just begun in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Uh, the first uh, piece of business we're going to be doing next week is interviews for a director for the commission, and uh, it's very important work, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting that accomplished. But uh, now more than ever, human rights issues are there to the forefront everywhere across the world, across the globe, and, uh, and uh, right here in Orange County. So uh, th thank you all for what you do and every day uh, on behalf of the citizens of Orange County with the Human Rights Commission. Uh, human Rights Day in Orange County, you want me to read this? I mean, sometimes I do the first whereas. So I have to get my glasses. <laughs> do the first whereas enough. I still have to get my glasses. Okay, whereas the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is a milestone document in the history of human rights that was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly on December 10, 1948, and represents the first global expression of rights to which all human beings are entitled to, and whereas the Universal Declaration of Human Rights arose directly from the experiences of Second World War and was drafted uh, by representatives of different cultural backgrounds from all regions of the world in a commitment to universal dignity, justice with its core values of inherent human dignity, non-discrimination, equality, and fairness, universally applying to everyone, everywhere, and always. You want to say a few words, Fred? Okay. One, I would like uh, one, I would like to pre uh, say we appreciate this and, and the acknowledgement of the Human Rights um, Day on December 10th. And in that light, um, we are, as you know, we uh, celebrate that day by having an art exhibit right across uh, uh, at both of our campuses, uh, SUNY campuses. So we open our exhibit as of officially today. That exhibit will be running right through to the 16th of, uh, of December. And we do have our opening reception in Middletown, on Sunday, uh, this Sunday from 1 to 3, and in uh, Newburgh uh, on uh, Tuesday from uh, 6 to 8. Always a fun exhibit. And, uh, you know, we do get the uh, high school kids throughout the county who get involved in this. And they really, what they, what they do is they take one of the 30 articles in the declaration of this declaration that we have, and then they dis dis uh, display that in, in some form, either literary or visual. 
And then I would just also like to acknowledge the uh, commissioners that are here. We have Chris Ashman, Nolly Clements, um, Anita uh, Manley, Bonnie Hubbard, uh, <coughs> Dr. Um, uh, Joseph Brembaum, Ann Horsham, uh, and um, Pat, Pat Claver, <laughs> and the one who, who's been really helping us to stay on track for the last year and a year and a half is, um, is um, Elizabeth, uh, Jenny Esposito. So again, thank you for this declaration. Thank you, Fred. Thank you for all the great work you do. And I'm glad you, you picked some of these people up. They retired, but they didn't retire. Chris Ashman, a, a Tennessee graduate, Pat Claiborne, and Jenny's right upstairs from us. Great people. Thanks for all the dedicated work you do. Okay, Harry, who's doing the tobacco? Uh, Dr. Adler? Where is he? Is there, is there a proclamation for tobacco 21? Or just the art exhibit? Oh, okay, that was just informational. Okay, thank you. They were supposed to have artwork, but we're going to pull it today anyway, so it's going to be voted on the 22nd, so that might be more apropos anyway. So. Okay, uh, public participation. Anybody signed up for the beginning? No? Okay. Majority Leader Bonasek? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of October 6th and November 3rd, 2016. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, Majority Leader Bronisek again. Thank you. And before I say this, I just wanted to say happy birthday to Paul Ruskevich today. Hey. Happy birthday, Paul. He wants to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little shy, Paul. <laughs> um, next, I'd like to move to vote collectively on item numbers 21 through 24, which are the tax resolutions. Second. Okay, if there are no objections, that'll be done. Are there any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? Okay. Legislator Benton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, I'd like to ask that amendment to, uh, to resolution number nine to remove uh, one parcel. Uh, we should have, everyone should have received a letter on their desk regarding it. It's uh, one of the Deer Park parcels, and I believe it's uh, section seven, block one, lot 12.2. Town of Deer Park. Okay. You checks a second. No objections. That'll be done too. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carry. Yes, Jim. Uh, I request that item number three on the agenda, local law introductory number 17 of 2016. A local law to raise the legal age for purchase of tobacco products in Orange County, New York, to 21, be withdraw withdrawn and referred back to Rules Committee to make a language changes regarding ID requirements, and then the local law will be voted on December 22nd, 2016 at the legislative session. Second. Okay. It's just going to go back to rules for that minor adjustment. It shouldn't be a big deal. If there are no objections, that'll be done. Withdrawn. Okay. I guess we're ready for agenda item number one. Legislators Bonasek and Hines, resolution fixing date, time, and place of meeting to organize the county legislature in 2017, pursuant to section 151 of the county law. The date is January 5th, 2017, 4 o'clock p.m. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagastakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bira, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, A2, receive and file. Number two. Legislators Bonasek and Hines. Local law introductory number 18 of 2016. A local law entitled Orange County Ethics and Disclosure Law. 
Discussion? Yes. Legislator Amor. Uh, just I want to remind everybody, I know we, we have talked about it, but it's been a, an issue that we raised in the beginning that is so critical that training for this law be put in place as soon as possible because our the, the, the county employees and, and elected officials need to follow the law and know what's expected of them. So I hope that we all we might remember that and try to put that in place. Thank you. Further discussion? Yes, Jim. You want to be added? Of course. And you want to be added, Michael? Yes. Okay. Good. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Hadouk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number three is withdrawn, correct? Number four. Legislator Sullivan Ekis, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to submit an application for a licensed home health care service agency, LHCSA, license from the New York State Department of Health. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number five. Legislator Sullivan and Ruskevich. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number six. Bond resolution requiring two thirds. Legislator Sullivan, Chemnitz, Benton, and Nagdastakis. Bond resolution dated December 1st, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of resident bathroom shower facility flooring improvements at the Valley View Center, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 17,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 17,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislators in Nagnostakis, Dillard, Chemnitz, and Brescia. Resolution amending resolution number 127 of 2000, establishing a reimbursement schedule concerning the provision of burial assistance and related services for the indigent. Second. Discussion? Yes. Everyone wants to be added, okay. R yep, Kevin Hines. Roll call. You want to be added? Jim DeSalvo. Katie. Okay. And Roseanne. Roseanne. You can add me too. Okay. Got you. Okay. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Benton and Hines, resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Department of Finance to write off the allowance created in fiscal year 2015 for uncollectible receivables from the Water Authority. Second. Discussion? Yes, Barry. Do you want to be added as sponsor? Okay. Yes. 
You want your name? No. No. He's here. Oh. He's here. No. Okay, you thought he was in hell. That's all right. Okay. Roll call. No problem. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Emo? Yes. Nagastakis? No. Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagion? Hines? Chemnitz? Kolasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 20 eyes, one no. Okay, number nine. Legislators Benton and Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonnison? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 10. Two thirds required. Bond resolution. No, I'm sorry, no. Number 10 is not. I'm looking ahead. Number 10. Legislators Benton and Berkman, resolution providing for a levy of a charge to the 2017 county town tax bills for a particular parcel in the town of Goshen. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, now number 11, which is a bond resolution. Two thirds vote. Legislators Ruskevich, Turnbull, Benton, and DeSalvo. Bond resolution dated December 1st, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications, and estimates necessary for the Denton Bridge replacement, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 150,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to cost, pay the cost thereof. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Anasa? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 12, another bond resolution. Legislators Vero, Kulasek, and Benton. Bond resolution dated December 1st, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of improvements to airport buildings, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, yes. Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, no. Ekis, Bagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, no. Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 17 eyes, 4 no's. Okay, number, th number 13, I'm sorry. <laughs> Legislators DeSalvo, Ekis, Benton, and Turnbull. Resolution increasing the petty cash fund of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 14. 
Legislators Bonasek and Fadjil, <coughs> resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County District Attorney's Office to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes, Chris. Can we say it by name, Certainly. Mike Paduka yeah. added, early added. Okay. Mike, uh, Jim DeSalvo? Okay. Okay, yep. Anissa? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Korsak? Paduke? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 15. Legislators Hines and Paduke. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County District Attorney's Office to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Jeff wants to be added. Jim DeSalvo, Jim Kulisak, Roseanne Curley. Okay, roll call. Anissa? Yes. Turnbull? Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, A16, receive and file, number 16. Legislator Benton, resolution finally adopting the proposed budget of Orange County for the year 2017 pursuant to section 360 of the county law and section 4.07 of the Orange County Charter and Administrative Code. Second. Discussion? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> wow. This isn't the worst budget I've ever seen, but it's not good enough. Now, during the process, many things were pointed out. I won't list them, but um, I think basically defined, this is a budget that spends, you know, after we've been told by the county executive that we're not yet out of the woods. Uh, certainly, there wasn't enough of an effort made in this budget to control spending. Just one note, item number eight on the agenda today, we lose a $29 million asset. Certainly, uh, something that should really get our attention. But having said that, uh, there's one other item in the budget that I really find disturbing, and that's uh, 250,000 for uh, a special analyst. This kind of vague position uh, in an effort to fight opiate addiction. Nobody wants to fight opiate addiction more than I do. It's an issue that's close to my heart. And uh, I would just like to know exactly how they intend to go about doing this. There's some vague sense that software is going to be used to identify where the problems exist in the county. And when I delve into this, this uh, how this is done, it just has Big Brother written all over it for me. So um, that's another reason that I'm budget and not voting for it. And finally, I would say that some of the line items in the budget, uh, but specifically uh, $25,000 in parks for advertising. You know, after we've done a lot of work uh, uh, to uh, implement strategies that would address uh, marketing challenges, we see something that has nothing to do with what we're recommending uh, put into the parks budget that kind of contradicts what we've decided would work. So, you know, having said all that, I'm going to vote against this budget, and, uh, that's it. Okay, any other discussion? Roll call. Oh. Michael Anagnostakis. Why not? It's the holiday season. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm going to be voting for this budget. Um, notwithstanding some of the uh, concerns that my uh, fellow legislator has on any one particular line item. We went through the process and we're here with an adopted budget by the county executive. 
Um, and he correctly states that we're spending millions and millions less than a few years ago. And I'll particularly take a uh, moment to note one department that I uh, oversee, the Valley View Department, that only three years ago in their budget cost taxpayers $18 million, but in this budget costs only a couple of hundred thousand dollars. If you want to know where you're saving millions and millions and millions, look no further. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I, I, I would just like to echo what uh, Mike had just said about Valley View and how very proud I am of um, that department and um, all that they've done um, to come in under budget. Um, it's the shining star of Orange County. Um, and if it was just for Valley View or for most of the departments in Orange County, I'd probably be, be very pleased. Um, uh, passing the budget shows that we're supporting their efforts. Well, I do support their efforts, but there are a couple of things that I really, on behalf of the taxpayers, I could never agree to. And one of, one of the reasons is because we have a pay-to-play law here in Orange County, and yet the same, pers the same company that ran our county executive's uh, campaign for county executive has now got a contract that is close to or not surpassing a million dollars. And uh, that budget has just increased more and more each year. And um, I'm wondering why. Why are we still, you know, adding more money so that Steve Newhouse can get his name out there? Um, that's not the only thing. I agree on the opiate addiction. Um, what I've been told is that the presentation was made, um, and when it was made, it wasn't, uh, there was no definites on who would be getting the money and exactly what they would be doing with this. And yet we have residents in Orange County who are desperately trying to get into rehabs, and either there aren't enough beds for them, or the insurance companies are just not, are just not allowing it to happen. And as a government, I think it's our responsibility to make sure that we help our residents in this fashion. And I would love to have seen that money um, go for that rehabilitation. Um, amongst several other things, those are my two uh, major concerns, and that's why I will be voting no. Okay, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, been here for quite a long time. This year was the first time this whole legislature got information regarding our budget from, actually from the budget department. Uh, I worked very hard this year on, on looking at items in the budget that I thought we could reduce. I think we could do a better job on uh, overestimating expenses. I also asked about information that all of us don't get. The information that we don't get that the budget department gets when the monies get returned every year. You know, we could do our job a lot better. Uh, I made a lot of suggestions. I, I actually want this to be on the record that we've asked, I've asked, for all the information that the bu budget department gets every year in return after they've analyzed it to let us look at the same information they get because they're the ones who present the budget to us. We don't have all the same information they do, um, and I'd like to have that. So a lot of issues they're right on. A lot of things we may have concerns about, but without the proper information to uh, really scrutinize this budget, I'm not going to support it this year. And um, there's a lot of other reasons, but a lot of them have been said. So I will, I'll be voting no as well. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? No. Amo? Yes. Anaknistakis? Yes. Benton? Yes. Berkman? No. Benelli? Yes. Cantorino? Yes. Cheney? Yes. Dillard? Yes. DeSalvo? Yes. Ikis? Pagione? Yes. Hines? Yes. Hemnitz? Kulasek? Padu? No. Ruskevich? Yes. Sullivan? No. Bureau? Yes. Brescia? 17 ayes, 4 noes. Okay, number 17. Legislator Benton. Resolution making appropriations for the conduct of the government of Orange County, Orange County Social Services District, Orange County Sewer District Number One, the Orange County Small Watershed Protection District Number One for Crown Line Creek and the Beaver Dam Lake District for the fiscal year 2017, pursuant to sections 356 and 360 of County Law and sections 4-8 and 4-9B of the Orange County Administrative Code. Second. Discussion. 
Roll call. Ivasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Annette Moustakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Rashna? 21 eyes. Number 18. Legislator Benton, resolution providing for the raising of taxes required by the Orange County budget for general government purposes, social services district purposes, Orange County sewer district number one purposes, Orange County small watershed protection district number one for Cromline Creek purposes, and Beaver Dam Lake district purposes, and levying taxes pursuant to section 360 of the county law, section 900 of the real property tax law, and section 4.08 of the Orange County Charter and Administrative Code. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Yes. Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Padu? No. Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia? 19 eyes, 2 noes. Okay, number 19. Legislator Benton, resolution accept, I'm sorry, resolution adopting the 2017 capital program pursuant to the Orange County Charter section 4.07. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Cantorino? Yes. Cheney? Dillard? Yes. DeSalvo? Ekis? No. Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz, no. Kulasek, Paduk, no. Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Vero, yes. Brescia. 14 eyes, 7 no's. Okay, number 20. Legislator Benton, resolution making appropriation to Cornell Cooperative Extension Association of Orange County pursuant to subdivision 8 of section 224 of the county law. Second. Discussion? Yes, Paul, you want to be added? Barry, you want to be added? Yeah. And Tom Fagion. And I will say before we go to this, and all thems, okay, um, that John McCary is being honored Monday night by Cornell Cooperative, as is Lou Heinbach. John's done a lot for Cornell Cooperative, and we applaud your efforts. Uh, they do an amazing job in so many different aspects of life. So, congratulations, John. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, numbers 21 through 24. Discussion? Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. And no one signed up for public participation at the end. <laughs> Are you young ma ladies and gentlemen here for a reason or just, oh, do you want to, did you have, yes, yeah. Sorry, I should have probably uh, introduced these very bright students from Pinebush High School. They're members of the Lord Leadership Academy and um, they are all interested in possible um, careers in either political science, law, law enforcement. Um, have I have I left anything out? What districts do they live in? They're probably they, in uh, Roseanne's district, right? Most they're of them. They're from School District. They're from Pinewood School, School District, and um, and they will be attending our committee meetings for the month of December as well um, to see how we uh, how government works on the county level. And I'd like to thank them for being here. Thank you for being here. Everybody give them a round of applause.
Hopefully you were uh, enlightened. I was a poli-sci major, so I turned out half, halfway okay, I guess. <laughs> no, no discussion, no discussion. Okay, reminder, last uh, legislative session is December 22nd at 10 a.m. If you're going to let lunch and let Kelly know, please, and make sure you give her your money and the other money also for uh, Melissa, I think, is collecting that. <laughs> no, <laughs> one of them maybe. Um, also, the partnership dinner, I guess we have 14 legislators going, which is good, it's Tuesday night. That's a good turnout, maybe even more than 14, that's excellent, so. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Yeah.